Welcome to our podcast with GTA 5 friends, quote on the special friends. Here we are with uh, with Mr. Fluffy Wuffykins as Vinny. Why don't you all introduce yourself? I'm stuck. <laughs> all right, so he's stuck. Who's stuck? <laughs> uh, Tristar117 <laughs> is Austin, and I kind of booted myself from the game, so I'm trying to load back in. Hero of Gamers is Juan. Hello. Oh, sorry, Lord Cummington. <laughs> I was auto aimed at a cop, and you just happened to jump in front of me. Lord Cummington, oh, break. And my name is Sketchography, and I'm the local fuck up. How you doing? Good. Oh, nice. That that defines you so perfectly. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> All right, Mr. Trackstar, why don't you take it away? The floor is yours. What's our first topic for tonight? Hey, so we're, we're doing a series of podcasts over the next month or so, maybe months, where we're going to try streaming and seeing what's, what works best for us. Making videos kind of secondary. We're hoping to just get the audio from the podcast it. Uh, right, tonight you're we're going to hang in us on GTA 5 and BSing. Um, yeah, you were on and off there. I, bl I blame you. Blame my shitty internet. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Alright, so what's our first topic for tonight? What do, we, what do you got for us? Uh, so our first topic tonight is going to be Christmas gifts. For significant others. What is too much to spend? How long is too long? Or how long do you have need to be with these people before it is reasonable that you have to up. get them a Christmas gift? I'm grabbing a bus. Okay, so, like we were discussing earlier, I believe that the reasonable amount of time for buying a Christmas gift is if you have been dating that person for more than three dates. If you've done more than three dates, you're good to go. Buy them a Christmas present. Especially if you're going to be pursuing a relationship as opposed to just dating. You know what I mean? No, I definitely understand. Yeah, I get you. I agree with that. Yeah, especially... So, but I feel like... Go ahead. I was, I was just going to say, do you guys establish it beforehand? Like, because I feel like that's a conversation I always have. It's like, look, um, you know, if you get the holiday coming up, this is how it's going to go down. Like, the three-day rule, like, I wouldn't just show up and be like, oh, here's your gift. And depending on, you know, what level of seriousness you are, you know, because you got to make sure you're both committed, not just, you know, you're committed. Because if you show up with a present and she doesn't, then... You get kind of screwed, and it's very awkward, right? And you, you just keep the present. No. I mean, it depends. But on the like, present. what would you get? What would you get a significant other that? You know what I mean? If you if you had one right now, what would you get her? Uh, if if it's like somebody that I've been dating for a while, probably get her like uh, like a book or something she enjoys, something I know she enjoys. Right, it's Otherwise, almost like you like put that. Uh, have it. It's almost like you put that twenty dollar limit on, you know, at, like company parties and stuff, like white elephant gifts. You put that, you put yeah, that limit yeah. on. Yeah. That way, they're not expecting, you know, like a diamond ring or necklace or something like that. Something ridiculous. Yeah, this I is also true. think jewelry is <laughs> a bad idea, especially unless you've been dating for like years. I think jewelry is a bad idea. Get her chocolates or like some kind of smell goods. That's Something always simpler. a good idea. Yeah, what about twenty dollar jewelry from Kmart? You know, I would I would almost like I feel like that's that'd be away. a pass for me. I don't think I don't think I'd ever <laughs> do that, even if I was with someone for like years. And it's just because of like where you got it, you know, half of where you half of the gift is where you got it. If you go like the jewelry route, you know, you gotta have like the fancy little box and everything. And it's got to be something, you know, special no, like Bryce, that. You have the up. brand on it. Uh. One star. I'm just waiting for... Okay, oh. you can get in. 
How do I change the radio in these stupid cars? Hold left on the D-pad. Uh, if you hold the left D-pad, and you can, if the can't, uh, the very bottom one with your right stick will be turning yep. it off completely. Thank you. Yeah, so I mean, I would almost stray away from jewelry unless it's like a pretty big, um, like a pretty big date, you know? Like six months. It's like an anniversary yeah, some... present. Right, yeah. It's yeah. I was about to say, jewelry is an anniversary present. It makes sense. If, so if what would you, somebody like, I've I guess... only been dating for a short time, definitely chocolate. Yeah. Everybody loves chocolate. Bitches love Before chocolate. Before or after the third date? Uh, Before like, the third if, date? If, even if we haven't, like, discussed it, just getting, like, chocolates and being like, oh, Merry Christmas. Even if you know, I didn't, they didn't reciprocate, I'm, that's not, like, a big deal to me. You know, I'd almost, like, I like yeah, to agree with then. that. I would almost say, like, all right, you know what, your Christmas gift is let me take you to dinner or something. You know, something nice where you actually want to show that you want something more out of it. That way she doesn't expect anything. Yeah. You know, it's like that awkward, oh, shoot, what do I get this man I just met for, you know, two weeks ago. We're going on a second date, and he's asking me for a present. You know what I'm saying? No, I understand what you're saying there, but I almost feel like a date isn't a present. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like you're going to be dating that person anyways. You're going to be going on dates right. regardless of what you're doing. Yeah. Even if it's like someplace nicer than you typically go, it's one of those things that's like, ah, we would have done this anyways at some point, but I guess Christmas makes us do it a little bit sooner. That's fair. It's everyone in that bus. No, who has stars? Who has yeah, stars? No, stars? No, 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 no. No. How, now... I know that this out at you. What would you want to see from an insignificant other? Tits. For like these, for like presents and stuff. Oh. Because I know uh, like, girls, how long you, you girls are easy to buy person. for, ish. But like, what do you get for a dude? Socks. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't like socks. <laughs> socks Every man I know has socks that have holes in them. It's cheap, it's Box easy. Socks and me and these. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah, sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> Adidas? Brought to you by this. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> <laughs> I prefer Klein. Under Armour. Now, if I'm being for real, though, I mean, like... I like gadgety things, like something, like, super cheap that I can, like, play with. I know, that sounds fucking nerdy, but... Yeah. No, ner nerdy's good, what? but you're like specific. Yeah. At least you have ideas. Exactly. Okay, do you guys remember those like super cheap like two dollar pinball machines that you could play with? Like in their handheld pinball machines, basically. Oh yeah. Yeah. I remember those. yeah. Like that kind of stuff, dude. I am all about that kind of stuff. Cheap, yeah, was, easy. This also came with like the ones hey, where yo, boys, I got you got company. Be right back. Right? Or like. I'm thinking of a maze game, actually. Like, where you start with the ball on one end and you get it to the other side to get it to a point where you can use that ball to, like, open up the secret hatch in the back and... No? Yes. Did anybody else ever yes. get one of those? Mm -hmm. Those things were fun. I feel like those are, like, They're an under fun. $20 gift where you just, like, buy one of those, stuff some gum or something in the back, and you get a game and, like, a packet game. of gum. Exactly. Yeah, no, I love that. I feel like I'll chocolate tell you is still a viable want. gift too. Can't go wrong with candy. Oh, see, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't. It's like I, if I, I got a Symphony bar candy. or like one of those big Hershey's bars, I'd be freaking s stoked. <laughs> Especially Reese's like, eggs. I feel like you gotta like accompany candy with something. You can be like, here's this candy, and here's a gadget as well. That's fair. Yeah. Hmm. All right. What would you not like to get as a first? Like, if you're only dated this person three dates, you guys are getting each other small gifts. What would you not want? I know this is gonna be weird, uh, but a box of condoms would be totally off-putting. Like, yeah, like really. I From feel her. Like it's one of those things. Like, if they give you a box of condoms. It's just expecting a lot out of you and they're just like, uh, what? I just That's provide not... a lot. 
<laughs> We're not on your level, Bryce. <laughs> I guess, I mean, for me, it'd be anything bigger than, like, a small, like, 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 uh, uh, Vinny was saying earlier that, you know, if it's anything more than your $20 limit for the company party, because I feel like if you haven't been on three dates, you're not really committed yet, you don't really know, and that can make things awkward. It's like, oh, by the way, I got you this $100 jacket or something like that. It's like, well, shit, someone's oh. committed and, well, you know, this is a one-sided relationship. I don't want a CD. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? People that pick out CDs that have preset songs, I hate that shit. I would much rather you buy me an iTunes card for 15 bucks, and I can pick out my own music. <laughs> you don't want a mixtape <laughs> or just any CD? I don't want a mix. No, nope, I don't want any CD. I don't want a mixtape. I don't care about your favorite songs. I don't appreciate the gesture. Give me an iTunes gift card. I'll make my own playlist. And then with that box of condoms that you bought me, we can grind <laughs> into that later. There you go. <laughs> nice. I would say the the one item I wouldn't want to get is something over a hundred bucks. That oh, yeah. because if they do get some something that's over a hundred bucks, I would feel like, fuck. Now I gotta get you something that's over a hundred bucks. You're basically getting shown up <laughs> at that point, because like if mm -hmm. they do a hundred bucks and you got them candy, you know. <laughs> Like, I have to run true. into the bathroom real quick, write up some fake uh, sexy time uh, uh, coupons or something like that. Yeah. One you know who's terrible at giving gifts? Or, uh, yeah, back the, rub. The, the sex coupons, those are always great gifts. Or, like, uh, yes. the, the buy one, get one free for, like, uh, what, the massages and shit. What if she? Yeah, no, what if she? Count me out of those. She uses the Ano coupon on you. On oh jeez. <laughs> well, on you weren't there. You weren't. Wait. The anal I coupon on me, again. or I get to use the anal coupon on her. On you. No, he's saying put something in oh. your butt. Oh yeah, that's a no go. No fly zone, homie. Danger zone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but grandparents are always terrible at gifts, though. You guys got anything terrible from your grandparents? Sweaters. Blankets. Ugh. Yeah, no, I can't Blankets say I've never gotten gifts. that bad. You throw them all is, in a pile, no. and then when you have a bunch of friends over, mm -hmm. everybody grabs a blanket, you hang out, make a big-ass blanket fort. Blankets are My grandma's gifts. not very good at knitting. Apparently yours oh. is pretty good at knitting, or she My grandma hers. is Listen. amazing at crocheting. <laughs> See, amazing. mine is not. But I have to I have to pretend like I like her gift, you know, because it's homemade from grandma and she's like ninety six so she's about to pop off. But I can't be rude and say, Oh no, I don't want this grandma because <laughs> then I'm the asshole at the Christmas party, you know. <laughs> hey, everyone. I got a pretty terrible one. I mean I get terrible stuff every year, but the worst one by far was when they gave me a it was a coloring book, right? But it was kinda like oh, a okay. calendar too. And uh, you know how like the zodiac calendar goes through, and it's like, oh, or, or I guess the horoscope, horoscope calendar would be better. You go through, and it tells you, you know, this month, this is how it's gonna go for you. Well, it was kind of like that, except it had your aura. But it was a coloring book too, so you know, it was an all-in-one combo there. Mm, yeah, I don't like that. Silence. I, that's I seriously silence. a terrible Sorry. gift. That's seriously a terrible gift. I had to sit there. I do apologize for that <laughs> pain. That's you guys had to sit there and think for, about that one, didn't you? I'm waiting yeah. for more of this story. Like, I, I need, yeah, I need to know the two context. Into I don't it, know. That it was like <laughs> completely wrong or something. There is no context. It was just no. Just, they're into the the metaphysical stuff, healing and everything, and it was just here. This is the color of your aura this month. You know, through the rest of the year. <laughs> oh man, I don't. I just. Oh. Yeah, that hurts. I do that hurts apologize. To think about. Oh. I'm back. Welcome back, Vinny. Vinny, what's the calendars. worst gift you've ever been given? Oh, from a Jesus. grandparent. Let's see, the from worst gift, huh? Oh, from a grandparent? Yeah. Yes. A or fucking, anybody, but a fucking toothbrush because my grandparents said my teeth are shit. Oh, damn. <laughs> I was like, Grandma, I have braces. <laughs> of course, my teeth. Are Savage. <laughs> oh, yeah, grandparents, like, oh, brutally honest. Of course, my teeth are gonna be shitty. 
I... I have a grandmother gives me for Christmas. I would say that's practical, and you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on textbooks. I would take that. Yeah, in that, I mean, yeah. I would do that too. But yeah, I mean, I, so my great grandmother. Grandma, and please, I love those that textbooks. She, she... Oh, go ahead, dude. Hey, uh... just came in here and just shit his fucking pants. Oh. <laughs> Luffy, I think you need to move your mouse or something because it's the feed went to. Some like goofy Twitch stream thing. Oh, I forgot to watch your feed. Oh no, I actually really like this. We kind of got everybody. Right, it feels me? like we're all kind of yeah, together. Sorry, my controller died. That's why it went. went I went love this. Wire. Casual cruising. <laughs> I literally just Casual have it cruising. on like B. It's pretty cool. You just reconnect your controller. Okay, now it shows up. Yeah, no, we're good now. My my controller died. I apologize again. Cool. Anyways, so Bye. now that we got worse presents out of the way, and fucking grandma gave me a goddamn toothbrush. Mm. <laughs> one, one never answered. Hi, grandma. No, no, one. No, right. I never. No, I never got in a bad present from my grandma, grandmas. Because yeah, I only received them like once or two years. Alright, All right, what's the next topic on hand? Alright, what else we got, boys? <sighs> see. We're stuck have on you the guys for so long. <laughs> have you guys seen that new movie on Netflix with Will Smith? Oh, Bright! No, no but I want to. I, I watched the first half movie? of it today. Yeah, where he's like the cop. With the yeah. Lock. Yeah, with the oh orc. yeah yeah yeah. Mom yeah, was actually yeah. watching that, and I watched the first half of it, and dude, it's pretty good. The trailer looked epic. I'm not gonna lie to you. So I haven't seen the movie, but the trailer made me want to watch it. I just have not had time to get around to it. But yes, I want to see that. It looks crazy. Kind of it different. It's kind of like good. a fresh take. I feel like they yeah, might yeah, go exactly. too many tropes. Mm -hmm. Like, just make the orcs just feel too dumb or something. But I feel like it it might be pretty good. I mean, wait till you guys watch it. <laughs> Tell me if it's York. any good. <laughs> yeah, I've only seen the trailer so far, but overall, I think it's gonna be. Are a we good going movie. into the base right now? Is that where we're headed? Oh, I, don't know. <laughs> I thought you were gonna take it some just right now. Off, off <laughs> of us. Yeah, but we're <laughs> good. That, that, that would be really epic, though. Hey now, I'll come back then. Thank you. All right, so. With my candy cane stripper clothes on. Don't worry about it. Forget about it. Alright, so. Uh, let's see. Are there any games in like 2018 that you guys are excited for? Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, Other than yeah, my Red project Dead. being finally done. Um, At work, I'm, ho I'm hoping 2018 is a better gaming year, dude. <laughs> 2017 sucked for it. Oh my god. Yeah, I thought. Well, I, don't know. I just switch. 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 You got to switch. It would have been great because Legend of the Zelda is amazing. Is it, you know, my right my coworker actually just got that. Yeah, dude, Breath of the Wild looks amazing. <laughs> oh, hold on, guys. I want it so see bad. The dump truck go off the cliff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I saw that too. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. I think if you want to talk about games that I was excited for, and I, I thought there was, I had a really low expectation of what it was going to be, and it actually kind of surprised me, was Call of Duty World of War. And the only reason I say this is because all the Call of Duty games I've played in the last three years have had jetpacks. I've always, I have always been a Call of Duty fan. I've always been boots on the ground. Um, I think that Call of Duty the new World War II Call of Duty, it feels like Call of Duty should. I think there's still obviously problems as far as, like, you can maybe kill a little too fast, um, so on and so forth, but as far as just being a fun game with a fun campaign and it has zombies and it's still World War II, 
I'm kind of a big fan about that. I, I like all of that. I thought that was a pretty good game that came out. You know, being a zombie ah, fanatic, I'm going to add on to that. I was so excited for this new Call of Duty, Call of, Call of Duty Zombies. You know, they added so much more that we're not expecting, right? Like, you know, the, the average zombie take is, oh, cool, you're going to survive endless, endless waves, you know, at the mystery box, like normal. Yeah, every now and then you're going to get the dog around. But this one, they added a twist to it. You know, they added specialty zombies, which is kind of like a Left 4 dead -y type feel. With like somehow every now and then yeah. you get like little boss waves. But I thought they did a damn good job with it. They definitely made it the creepiest zombie games I or a zombie game I have ever played. Is that right? <laughs> I agree. At least at first, you know, the music's gotten better, the graphics are better. Well, they got they got jump scares in it now. If you haven't played it, I highly Maybe. recommend it. I have yeah, I haven't gotten around to it. I was thinking about it the other day, but I'm still like. And that, it sounds cool to hear all that because when I think of zombies, I still think of like the very first one where you're in like the fort. Sure. You know, and you can go into the one room with the box and yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, you got four people just shooting at the one door, uh, and that was a good time. I mean, I played I played that for hours. So I have to check it oh, out. Oh yeah, this one is crazy. You know, they added a whole bunch of Easter eggs, which I think with is that's what like the route zombies is going now is a whole bunch of easter eggs you know try to keep the the user occupied and busy other than the typical you know the knock scene or Doris where you just camp in a corner yes objectives there are objectives in a horde game mode of survival that's literally all it is. it's a survival game that has easter eggs objectives and it's amazing because they like you said they've been adding more and more Easter eggs. I think another game, another Call of Duty game that did that really well was uh, the first Black Ops, and not a lot of people realized that all their DLC maps that they came out with in the game were... I mean, they weren't fantastic, but the Easter eggs and the objectives within those maps were flawless. The fact that they added so many, and there was like all sorts of twists and turns, and it would keep you occupied, occupied for like, you know, 15, 20, 30 levels um, while you're, you know, trying to survive this horde of zombies. So right. I thought, yeah, I think they've gotten kinda, a lot better at it. Kind of adding on to that, you know, I don't know how much you guys follow the zombies line, or like the zombies trilogy and campaign, like the zombies storyline. There is so much more in depth than anyone has ever realized it. You know, you're just, you know, you load up the game, you're like, all right, cool, you know, zombies match, yay, woohoo, let's go kill some zombies. Reached round 99, you know, play for 15 hours straight and only reach round 40. <laughs> Um, yeah. Isn't no. the storyline done by like the Black Ops people, the Activision? Or right. Is this but one Activision was... is all three. Yeah, Activision and Treyarch. All three companies are owned <laughs> by Activision. Yeah, Activision, That's Treyarch, what I liked and about. Sledgehammer. That's what I liked about Black Ops, the storyline. It was interesting of course. and it made me want to play more. What was the, uh, which which one was it where you like had the bus and you could travel to the different locations? Was that Black, Black Ops 2? Black Ops 2. Yep, that's transit. Did but you no, guys... like, all threes... Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, did you guys ever figure out what the transit cards were for? Because I looked everywhere. I mean, this has been years ago. I'm sure there's something about it now. But, like, you could pick up the cards, right? You, you guys ever do that? A little bit, yeah, like, so little card that's, that's also, like, another Easter egg, you know? they. The yeah. way that they did this was Black Ops 1, 2, and 3, all three games... Hey, nice, nice drive-by, by the way. Um, yeah, we just we just killed that dude. <laughs> um, all three zombie games, they they're all tied into one another. They all are in sequential order, which is which is which is crazy. You know, like some shit will be yeah. from the card, for instance. You know, you need to get that from buried, from transit, and oh should I forget the third one? Uh, revelations, you know, but you you got to get the card from all of them, and then your progress will carry over. So I I thought that ah, was pretty interesting, you know, like like I said, it goes way more in depth than you think. Like they they thought this out flawlessly. The fact that you're basically getting two games for one. They they yeah, do big like secret uh, Easter eggs, right? With each one, like the la uh, the second. Uh, Black Ops, or was it Black Ops 3? They had like the bows and stuff. Yeah, that was Black Ops 3. That big old... Yep. Yeah. Yep. It took them like weeks on Black Ops 3 to figure out how to do the main Easter egg, and then I think they cracked the one on this new game in like 
13 hours of release. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah and you know, I don't know if goes... that says something about the community or with how well they planned it out. I think it says more about the community. I think uh, people have gotten more and more used to finding the Easter eggs, and because of that, they're finding faster. Uh, they become, they're become basically training themselves to find it faster, you know what I'm saying? With all the other games, they find it within a couple days. The next game, they find it within 24 hours. This game, they find it within 13. So I think it's the community thing, as opposed to it getting um, easier. Right, and with that, you know, everyone was so excited that they went back to the roots, you know, boots on the ground, and I think that drove in more of a community. And now that everyone was what the, all right, now that everyone was so excited for boots on the ground, you know, and how well the zombies actually turned out, I think you know, kind of going back to what Austin said about the community, it it's driving people more and more back to going back to Call of Duty. Because if you look at the what was it, Infinite Warfare, the one that was just complete garbage. If you look yeah, back no, at that no. game, like the release trailer on YouTube it had what 14 million the most downloads dislikes of any yeah you know yeah, and the most dislikes on that YouTube video I think ever other than Jason Bieber's baby right exactly you know <laughs> so this new this new Call of Duty that came out I think it had like a hundred million upvotes or something stupid like that so that kind of goes to show you know that the community backing it up Shows that the uh, developer listened to the community because originally this was supposed to be thank you too. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So. Yep. It all goes back or, to the community. I'm sorry, not goes to uh, Advanced Warfare Two. Or wait. Yep. Yeah. No. Do I have that right? I have that right. Yeah. Advanced Warfare Two. Speaking of Advanced Warfare Two, boys, when do you think they're going to remaster Modern Warfare Two, and have that out to the general public? That's why they went with that kind of model. So the next really crappy game is going to have a reinvented and uh, Modern Warfare 2. Do you think they're going to have to buy it with the other one? Do you think that that the community wants those games remastered, or they do it simply due to the fact that they know what the product they're putting out isn't going to make the money, so they are adding these? I don't want to call them DLCs, but in this case, they're almost. It's a game that we've played, but it, it's basically a DLC, you know. But the simple I answer is like because they can't. You know, it's all about the money. Unfortunately, they don't give a shit about the community. I mean, look yeah. at Infinite Warfare. Have you ever seen Star Wars Battlefront Two? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. the yeah. microtransactions. Yeah. Like mm. Yep. <laughs> yep. So I'll... I mean, because I don't want to see like Call of Duty Four come back. I mean, it was a great game, but it was a great game in. What, 2009 or whatever it was? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to just leave it there. Yeah, it doesn't need to come back. I mean, what do you, how are you going to remaster it? Make it look a lot better, but it's still the same game. You know, I same game want something new. I, I played through that. Exactly. I'm not going to lie, though. I think, I think it was my opinion, Modern Warfare 2 was the best Call of Duty game, in my opinion, just because that was the first game, you know, I started out on. Everyone played, and just like the nostalgia, I wouldn't mind seeing that game remastered. That and the Eminem music in the trailer, son. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. That was go great. Go left, go left, go left, right, left. <laughs> okay, I'm done. How about um, you, Austin? But, Why don't we go do like a race or something? I'm yeah. getting stir crazy on the bus. Getting stir crazy on the bus. You want to drive? Because I could use a break. All right, I think let's go. Let's go like start something. Let's go. Oh, I got you. We can do a go park quick somewhere. Race. Hold up. Uh, I got you, boys. What kind Hold of time up. we looking at? We're at 30 minutes. How long have we been recording? So we got about, a, minutes? Got okay. about another half hour. We got another half an hour, so let's... I got you, half boys. an hour works off like this. Let's try doing a job. See yeah, how I that got goes. You. We can do I the Titan. You, titan of a job or another one? Oh, hold on, hold up. No, no. I got you, boys. Let's do a race. I got you, boys. If that Bryce way knows we me have well, less of a learning curve. He knows what I'm going to do, but don't you say it. We should just do a race. I don't. Die. I know what you're die. thinking about doing those setups. No, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't <laughs> gonna do no do setups. setups. I, ain't gonna, I ain't doing no setups. We have too many people to do setups, anyways. Not the free mode setups. The hell is it? Hold on. We can do them. Huh? All right, boys. Gotcha. Yeah. 
I'll so on that note, you know, let's switch some gears here, and uh, let's go on to our next topic. Figured about 15 minutes of topic sounds pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, consoles. I opinions on going from like the Xbox to the Xbox S to the Xbox X. Well, I mean, that's a no-brainer. The the Xbox One X is the most top processing power. It's the fastest. It's the top of the line that you can get. It's going to load everything faster. It's going to play true 4K when you're playing video games with HDR. I mean, that's a huge perk. Yeah, but... I mean, the Xbox One S does supposedly the same thing, but it does uh, pixel rendering to make up for the 4K. Because uh, it's not true 4K. You know what I'm saying? No, but this is like one of the first times they've ever mid-cycle said, oh, going to upgrade this console because it's not powerful enough to compete in this gaming market anymore. I mean, kind of. I mean, you can go back to the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. They came out with slim versions of those, faster versions of those, uh, mid-cycle, and then the Xbox One came out, you know? You know what I think they're going to start so, doing? Yeah, but they is... never marketed them as, like, a s separate product. Yeah, they marketed the slim version, but that was, like, just... Same console, thinner. True. You know what I think they did, they're going to do? Right, they are marketing these ones differently. I think they're going to kind of do what they did to Destiny 1, you know, and stop support. They're going to be like, you know what? That's it. You, they're going to almost like force the, uh, the competition to upgrade, which is, you know, kind of shitty and it sucks, but that's what I see happening. I think once the X comes out, the 360 so will like be obsolete. Oh, for sure. But I guess, I, so my question in this whole thing is at what point do you guys think it is worth upgrading? Like, I've got the original Xbox One, the, you know, OG, but when, you know, when do you think it would be more advantageous for me to say, you know, fuck this one and go get a new one considering it's the same console? Uh, when you're when the only cheap-ass well, okay. friend that doesn't have any other newer ones and you have no one to play with because I think, your life sucks. I think it really boils down to gaming experience. It, it's what kind of gaming experience do you want? Are you a serious enough gamer to where you're going to want the top-of-the-line Xbox One X where you're using the full capabilities of that with these brand-new games that can support HDR? Which, to be fair, not a lot of games can. A lot of simulation, like racing games, can. And uh, uh, That's about it. How do I really... But, like, the new... <laughs> like, for Call of, like new, if you're just gonna play Call of Duty, you know, then what's the point? You, you know, yeah. you make a you make a good point. It's all about the user base and what you want as a consumer. You know, if you don't need all that 4K stuff, then I think that the the one is your best option. You know, but if we'll you're looking for, the for S if you want the 4K video. I was about to say the I personally just bought the S on thanks uh, the day after Thanksgiving. How is it? Just for one reason and one reason only. It's nice. It actually it does everything I wanted to do. Um, it was the only reason I bought it is because it was one hundred and seventy seven dollars. Okay. Dude, that's a it steal. was literally that's cheaper. A I know, and that's that was the whole reason I even purchased the S because I have the I still have my original Xbox One sitting upstairs <laughs> in my bedroom now as a DVD player. You know. And I plan on keeping it as such because it plays Blu-rays and I can still talk to Cortana. But, um, yeah, I mean, like, that was the only reason I got the Xbox One S. Because originally I was going to go buy the X and I thought it was going to be a hell of a deal. But it's like 500 bucks and I paid 500 bucks for my original Xbox One when it came out. So it's like... But don't you worry, if you trade that know. in at GameStop, you'll get about 40 bucks. 40 bucks. F 50 bucks if you get your in-store credit. Bro, are you pressing they X? They did have a deal. Are you pressing A, Austin? They had a deal... I, I didn't I will be jump right high back, guys. Off mic. <laughs> Ow. But I, I see that, and I, I, I would love to get oh. an X. Oops, sorry, one. But You're at good. At the same time, it's just not worth it for me at the moment. And that's fair. And I think honestly, you can do the same thing with a PC and go PC Master Race, do it for cheaper, and get the highest quality you want. You know, well, maybe not cheaper. Excuse me, um, not cheaper. I, I shouldn't have said cheaper. But you can, if you want quality. I mean, you might as well go to the PC. PC can go get PC a cannot ADT. compete with. It can't be competing with. Console. Yeah, no. It, PC yeah. is just too good. So it really boils down to what do you want, you know?
poor track I made it to the track at this time. I rolled across it. I was going way too fast. Yeah. <laughs> what's, your t what's your take on I that, Drake? I personally built a PC. He just left. He he'll be right back. Oh. Yeah. I personally just built a PC because I just wanted to learn how to do that. You sure. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you know what? To Go on. actually to take another turn, another tangent in on this subject. Okay. Let's talk about virtual reality for a second. Do you want to play virtual reality on your PlayStation, or do you want to play virtual reality on your computer? Oh, computer. Let's be honest. You know there it that is, that dude. 1080 Ti, or even the, the you know the Titan X. You could you could get away with doing you could get away with doing uh, a 1070 or a 1060 even uh, as yep. the minimum requirements for VR ready, right? Yep. So you could do a 1060 and be running virtual reality at a much higher processing rate than Xbox One, ex excluding the Xbox One X and the PlayStation 4 um, Pro, you know, can. And I think... Actually, I've heard that uh, the PSVR is actually pretty underrated just for how easy it is to, to use and how cheap it is, especially if you're using, like, a Pro to, to run it. <laughs> sure, but knows. it's... At that point, it's convenience versus um, quality. Right. Yeah. Opinion. Yep. You can also use uh, the PlayStation VR headset on an Xbox One. There you go. Yeah. Fun fact. It works as a screen. It doesn't actually like do the <laughs> VR thing, but you can w play your video games using the VR headset because it's just like an HDMI cable. Sure. Right. You know, I I think I can't wait for you could do technology the to catch Oculus. up to all this. You know, where we're actually going to be standing on a treadmill. You know, like a 360 degree treadmill with VR on, with a real, you know, quote you guys... gun, and actually It'll solve VR. obesity. Yeah. Have you guys seen that uh, Player One trailer where their whole generation is just VR crazy? They're all in VR. No, I haven't seen and... that. But oh, dude, you gotta see that. It's awesome. It. It reminds I'm also me of that thinking... movie with. Uh... Okay. It's I'm just like the movie Wally. Full dive technology might become a thing eventually, where you just it puts your subconscious into the to this virtual world. See that? Which, that it's kind of like think, a scary thought, though. I think we're hundreds and hundreds. Being honest, you know, <laughs> it's like some future because shit. the science behind it is yeah. It's, I mean, the science isn't there. guys getting this kind of height we're awesome Damn, if, just you, like, oh, uh, if left, you pull back left, on the, the left, left thumbstick no 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 not pull back click it it'll jump you'll jump if you click your left thumbstick oh you have to do it at the bottom so click it right as you hit the bottom of the ramp. down you know all, so. uh, oliver was saying that at dreamhack up in denver this year they had that actual like for first-person shooter treadmill type setup, which I think that would be the future of gaming. You know, it's all, it would solve obesity. You know, you wouldn't have to worry about scrubs. Fair. Fucking twelve-year-olds. You're shit. as good. As, you're as good as you can be at that point because you're basing it off of your reaction controller. You're you're physically. Yeah. Well, you're mentally there. <laughs> like you know. Yeah. yeah. Prone. Yep. So I, I I I would like to see that come VR. I, I hope you know I'm alive long enough to see that happen. We'll be in our nursing homes when we're 70 years old, and they'll finally come out with it. We're gonna be like GG Imagine fucking screw. Like in the nursing homes. GG nerd. Oh. <laughs> Fag. That's what nursing homes are gonna be when we're there, literally, because our whole millennial generation is nothing but gamers, right? So we're gonna be just like Xbox LAN parties as uh, eighty-year-old people. <laughs> That's gonna be awesome. Can't, I can't wait. You got this, Fluff. Oh, you asshole! <laughs> that bitch. Get out of here, bitch. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. We can't lose the two people, guys. Let's go get it. 
He already lost to us in the first round. <laughs> Is anyone even watching the stream? I'm in it now. I'm yeah, we got it. three viewers. How many people are watching? Yeah, yeah three. Me, so we're just talking Fluffy, to ourselves. And, and o -Dog. Yeah. So we're just talking to ourselves. Okay. That's what I was curious about. Hey, who the fuck cares right now, bro? You got At least we're getting our. We're getting our. Yeah, you got um, stuff. So figure it out. It only took us three hours to figure out how to stream. It, but you know what? Yeah. We know we know how to stream. <laughs> But we know how to do it now. You're right. You're so right. I, I jumped and then I was like upside down. I'm like, I wonder how far I can get. I almost made it to the platform, but I didn't pull my chute fast enough to like actually save myself. <laughs> hey Drake, do you see me? Uh, no. Nope. <laughs> nope. I'm looking though. Do, 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 do. He's way he up just there, popped so. in the middle. Oh, you're way of, up like, there. Nothing. I see you. Nah, nah. How did you get that kind of height? Nah, nah. You just jump off the oh, top. No. Oh no! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nailed it. It's Dang it! Oh, what, God, did you lose people? what did you nail? Three points behind. We have to get it this round, boys. This is the round. I'll do it this time. I was trying to knock off one last time, but I'm gonna do it this time. <laughs> awesome. You oh, uh, you, you glitched through the bottom of the ramp on my screen. <laughs> All right, boys. Next topic. We got we got enough time for one more on this podcast. All right. Has Star everyone Wars seen Star Wars? Wars? Nope. Have not. No. Uh, I will end this stream. I have, but he will end this. I will end you. I will end. Yeah. Juan took the words out of my mouth. But we can talk about every other movie besides. That's fine. I just want to know where we stood. That's that's good. No one's seen it. It's fine. I've seen it. Yeah, I'm not ready to go. Ah, uh, let me let me check my notes. I had a few others. He's not gonna make it. Not gonna make it. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Justice League? Have we all seen Justice League? Yes, I have. Let's see. Thoughts? Uh, Listen, I I'm gonna. I'll be the first one to say it. Justice. Okay, DC just doesn't make good live action movies. They make nope. great animated films. They don't make great live action. And for Marvel, it's complete opposite. They make terrible animated movies, but their live action movies are bonkers, man. I mean. Yeah, there's no comparison. <laughs> I don't think I've yeah. heard it said any better than what you just did. Like, wow. Okay, next topic, please. Like, that was that was perfect. I absolutely <laughs> hate Ben Affleck as Batman. He will never be my Batman. He'll never be my not bat not my Batman. Literally, the fact <laughs> that I'm, okay, so I'm a Batman fanatic, right? I think I think Austin mm -hmm. and I are on a whole different level. I mean, he's way the fuck higher than yeah. me. But you know, anyways. Transform <laughs> race, by the way. Let's do a transform race. All right, everyone, go to free mode. Uh, the fact that they made Batman act like a little bitch. Kind of made me mad. He's such they a didn't, bitch. Oh, he literally just they bent didn't make over him and the took smartest it. person in the movie, and he should have been the smartest person in the movie because Batman. You, you think Tony Stark would take that shit from Captain America? No. Oh, no. rather than a transform race, let's do one of uh, the one shot, one kill guy game. Oh, you know, dog. get one, one, one in the chamber or whatever. Sure, we can do that. Or we could do Tron bikes, and both. But yeah, we'll do one in the chamber. Tron bikes is only four. Ah, shit, that's right. But however, yeah, I I did not like the fact that they made him, they portrayed him like a little bitch. Like, oh no, Superman. Ooh. You don't see Tony Stark didn't like asking for Thor's help. I, exactly. I mean, he never does any of that shit. But he like Batman. I don't think through. But like three punches in that whole movie, everything else was gadget based, and I get it. Like that's that's Batman's character. He's got the money, he's got the gadgets, the tools, and everything. But like he also is kind of a badass. I don't know. Maybe I'm just sold on Christian Bale. Christian Bale like whoops some ass. Austin, which one's the la is it Last Man Standing? Is that what it is? Christian Bale has so. like more of a story, real real world story. As to Batman yeah. or Ben Affleck, hold up, hold up. time out, boys. Comic book. Which story. one is one in the chamber? Is it under adversary? I'll check it out. I'll Google it real quick. Yeah, go ahead and Google it. Sorry. Right. Anyways, continue on. Sorry to cut you off. You're good. And uh, Ben or uh, Christian Bale also had the greatest Joker 
um, ever put on screen too. So, oh, hands down, <laughs> dude. Hands down. There, there's no comparison from. God damn it! I had a bounty on you. I had a bounty on me. Um. Sorry, boys. Ledger, I, uh, I have a so little good. technical difficulty right now. My nose stopped uh, working. <laughs> Listen. It says I, every bullet counts. I understand why everyone loved Heath Ledger. I mean, he died for the role. He was literally what a real-world Joker would look like. But let's not underplay the Jack Nicholson Joker. What the Joker was at its truest form. Jack oh, Nicholson, Jack Nicholson portrayed Joker. it perfectly. Also fantastic Joker. I, I feel like they yes. it's hard to compare the two because they're very it different. Is. Like yep. Heath Ledger Four did like yeah. the serious real world one, counts. but Jack mm -hmm. Nicholson he was like true to the comics. Like that was and, and was. like the animated. You know they're all as far as I'm concerned, all the animated Jokers are based off Jack Nicholson's really? character. I have one in the back right now. Ooh, three uh, shout out Mark Anybody Hamill, want? best Joker yeah. of all time. Uh, oh, this is only yeah. four the people. Animated, <laughs> this is only animated four. Voice we can't actor. do this. Oh, it's. Oh, we, we got fucked here. Mark, I don't know which one was Mark Hamill. I gotta see a picture. All right, I don't he know was the animated. animated Joker. Joker. He's, he's Luke. He's Luke Skywalker. No, no, no. But like, which animated Joker he, was he? The all animated Pretty much Joker. All yeah, like all of them. There's literally only one that I know he's not in, and that's Under the Red Hood. And that was, uh, oh god, who was that? Vin not Vinny, uh, Lou, not Lou Ferrigno. Oh my god, what's his name? You know who I'm talking about. Austin, don't you? No. Under the Red Hood Joker? Yeah. Oh my god, what is his Mark name? Mark Hamill, yeah, he, he was a good Joker. But there's like a few other animated Jokers that I remember Don seeing. Don like There's the one who was like the, uh... Don DiMaggio, thank you. Uh, is everyone in this? Where, what are we doing? Yeah, unfortunately, Juan got the short end of the stick here. And we can't really quit. I'm... Ah, we'll make it quick. Right, Juan, uh, after this, after uh, this one, Juan, I'm in my, take my spot. I am in my apartment right now. <laughs> it's Have the beer in my on apartment. me. Mark Hamill was a good Joker. I, I forgot about him. I just thought there were so many animated role. ones. You gotta aim and then push X. Okay, so to go through the list of uh, actors that played the Joker animated, it was Mark Hamill, Kevin Conroy, Kevin Michael Richards, Jeff Bennett, Bruce Tim. Wait, hold on. No, I, I'm sorry. No, that's right. Bruce Tim, Arlene God Sorkin, who played the female version of the Joker, Paul Dini. <laughs> Larry Storch, Jeff Bergman, and Lauren Lester. So obviously the most memorable of those being Mark Hamill. Yeah, yeah, I'll agree with that. Yep. And it's just the laugh, dude. He has the laugh down perfectly. Like that is what the Joker should sound like when he laughs. Yep. I don't know. Maybe I'm just. I think he crazy. got. I think he got to the point where, because he was Luke, nobody would hire him. So he had to become a voice actor, right? Yeah, because he had all the so? scars after his accident. Ah, I miss. Yeah, he missed pretty bad on that one. Yeah, I think a lot of those, a lot of the big names from the original Star Wars trilogy, kind of got screwed over simply Except because. Except for Harrison Ford. It was so big. Sure. Sure. And I mean, is that kind of like what's going so on with iconic. Uh, Daniel Radcliffe? He's only Harry yeah. Potter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He is Harry Potter, and everybody's like, oh, Harry Potter. Harry Potter was in this movie. That was you know, so weird. It's just like, you know, you brought up, you brought, you bring up a good point like that. You ever seen uh, uh, The Woman in Black? I have yes. not. Literally, all mm -hmm. I can think of, you know, the, the main actor Harry of Potter. Harry Potter was the and protagonist, antagonist, whatever, main character dude. And literally, all I can think of was. Harry, you've been guiding Leviosa. I'm oh, a wizard, Harry. Yeah. Yeah. At least the kid that, that played up. Ron was smart about it. I fucked up. Oh, I'm out of bullets. It's like, after he kind of got done, he's like, yeah, I'm going to just invest my money and get an ice cream truck. <laughs> he did it right, Ron Weasley. Fuck! Fuck you! 
He looks like Ed Sheeran. <laughs> little. <laughs> oh, hit marker, bitch! God damn it! How come you didn't die? <laughs> I don't know. Like I found him first, and I shot at him, and I missed. Just crap. I swear I hit him. That I went fast. All right, let's let's get something and get one in up on this. That was funny though. It was, it was fun. China Italian bitch. Yeah. So all right, you know we've, we've wait talked what about, we've talked about the Joker. Now now here comes the real mm -hmm. question. Who do you think the best Batman is? Christian Bale. Oh. And, wait. I would fuck Christian Bale. Live action. Live action. I was about to say Adam West, man. Going original. Listen. <laughs> it's okay. hard to Have you say guys Christian seen Bale. the Big Bang Theory? When they do, no. they have Adam West and they're listing off their favorite, like, Batmans of all time. Even Adam West is like, Christian Bell's my number one. But if you're going for comedic and, like, old school, then I am definitely the best at Batman. All right, boys, what you think? Free road. Yeah, let's just kind of fuck around for a bit, kill some nerds, steal some jets for the Look, last. Did you know you can throw minutes. snowballs? Yeah. yeah let's go steal did you know jets. you can throw snowballs here? <laughs> I was throwing some at you earlier. Huh? I just Holy noticed crap. that. So I'm looking <laughs> at uh, under the red hood cast. Guess who voiced Nightwing? Who? Who? Neil Patrick Harris. No oh, shit. Oh, I. Huh. Yep, I knew that. Yeah. Really? Under the Red Hood might be one of my favorite animated Batman movies, if I'm being honest. I. I gotta say the that Jason, Jason Todd is one of my favorite. Robins. In the, like yeah. his later form, as the Red Hood, he's awesome. As a Robin himself. He's kind of like, just a brat. Then he okay. becomes Red Hood, and you're like, okay, he's mentally mm -hmm. disturbed. He's a badass. You know, I and I have not whip seen out a gun. Uh, the killing noise yet. Killing joke. That whatever. Exactly. The killing joke is oh! flawless. And Vinny, it's That's on Admit Me. Watch it. It's on Admit Me. All right, I, I'm gonna watch I need, it. Mm -hmm. Did you, it you? Do I have to accept your invite, Vinny? I'm in my own lobby. Oh, I see. Let me accept that anyway. Yeah, uh, I, I have not, well, I've I have got, not seen I've it. I've got Sketch here. Here, Vinny, you come back to us. We're here. We've got at least one. Did, any, did anyone accept that invite? two. I accepted it. Okay. I well, I've got Austin and Sketch but here. I, I was doing something else. It's going to take forever to load. All right, well, we're almost out of time anyway, so we just might wrap it up here in a few. Yeah, let's uh, let's wrap wrap it all up. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, yeah, we'll stay get tuned. An actual name for this later, and we'll You're try a couple different things. Out. God <laughs> damn it! He was he was fine for me. And maybe it might it might take a little while because my internet blows big old monkey nuts. But it's until then, we'll get it all figured like, out. share, subscribe, do whatever you want, and then we'll see you guys later. Right on. Yep. Bye. Bye. Say goodbye. Bye. See you later. Bye.